Amazingly, people continue to be rescued from the rubble following Monday's earthquake that killed over 20,000 people in Turkey and Syria. One girl named Malike was trapped for 106 hours before she was rescued today. In another video released by a Turkish government agency today, a pregnant woman can be seen being rescued along with a seven-year-old girl, officials calling that rescue a miracle. Meantime, uh, here in the Bay Area, Walnut Creek woman is now raising funds for her family and others who have been affected by this earthquake. She's trying to relieve the pain and suffering of her loved ones who are thousands of miles away. Cron Force Dan Thorne talked with the woman tonight. He joins us more on her story. And there are a lot of uh, people from that part of the world who live here in the Bay Area. Yeah, it appears that there's so many people here that know exactly what's going on there and really couldn't understand the, the gravity of the situation despite it being so far away. And this woman's name is Savi Toprak. Her family and friends are living in the hardest hit region there in Turkey. And like thousands of others, her family's homes and cars were leveled and destroyed in Monday's earthquake. And now despite being so far away, she's trying to help in any way she can. This is where homes and businesses once stood in Kirakan a town in the Hatay province of Turkey devastated by a catastrophic earthquake. It's also the hometown of Walnut Creek resident Sevi Toprak. Everyone lost everything. Um, our home, our cars, like my aunt, my family, some relatives. I lost my friends. Thousands of miles away, Toprak's family is without a home and struggling to find shelter as frigid temperatures grip the region. Communication between her and her family in Turkey has also been sparse because of widespread outages and technical issues. With more than 20,000 people dead between Turkey and Syria, Toprak says the few conversations have been difficult to imagine. My sister telling me, like, the smells terrible on the street, all that body they just people living at the street. Facing these extraordinary circumstances, Toprak is doing what she can for her mother, siblings, and six nephews trying to rebuild their lives. She's been able to raise thousands of dollars through an online effort so far, but she's calling on Turkey's government to do more. They just staying, trying to stay at the street, like they, they need home. Um, I can't do anything, but I'm trying my best. Toprak is not sure when she will be able to get over to Turkey to see her family. The Hatay airport has suspended its operations after its runway was significantly damaged by the earthquake. For information about Toprak's fundraising effort, you can find that on our website, cronform.com. Live in studio, Dan Thorne, Cronform News.